Hi, in this video, I'll show you how Unify will post your settlement report, transactions, items, and refunds using the one-click accounting for Amazon feature. Here are a few things to consider before using this feature. You should set up this feature prior to using it. If you're the type of user that posts your daily Amazon sales to QuickBooks Online either individually or consolidated by date, when you're ready to post the settlement report, the one-click accounting feature will detect the sales that are already posted and then post the refunds and the settlement report to QuickBooks Online, and everything will be accounted for within the settlement period. Since one-click accounting for Amazon is a global posting function, this feature is triggered after it has been set up and the settlement report is posted to QuickBooks Online. This feature is used in conjunction with the bank account to which Amazon disperses the money at the end of your settlement period. You should set up that account if you haven't already done so. You can only post one settlement report at a time with this feature. So keep that in mind if you're using this feature to post historical data into QuickBooks Online. Now let's proceed. To set this feature in motion, select the Expenses icon and select Marketplace Fees. Then select the settlement report Unify has downloaded so it's ready for you to post to QuickBooks Online. Then click Confirm. You will see a loading screen of the data Unify is consolidating and simultaneously posting. Depending on how much data Unify is working with, this could take some time. After Unify has posted the settlement report and various sales and refunds, you should see a green pop-up notification and the bill that's created in QuickBooks Online. Its details will be viewable when you hover over the green check mark next to the posted settlement report. Reconciliation is a two-step process, the first of which is a visual verification that the data in Unify matches the data in QuickBooks Online. When looking at the data in Unify, these are the data points and what they correspond to within QuickBooks Online. Current period fee is the expenses and fees total. The current period income is the total batch transactions in QuickBooks Online. Total due is the Amazon settlement report total. All of this data can be viewed in QuickBooks Online by going to the bank deposit area in QuickBooks. You can use this visual verification method until you feel comfortable that the data has been consistently and correctly accounted for in QuickBooks Online. When Amazon disperses your payment at the end of your settlement period, it will show up in the bank account with the bank feed, which reflects when Amazon has deposited revenue in that account. Go to the banking menu and click on the For Review area, which shows all the deposits and bank feeds from your accounts. Click on Match to match the deposit feed from your bank with the deposit of the settlement data and you should see a successful message. To review your match transaction, click on the In QuickBooks area to see the deposit that has been matched with the revenue in the bank feed. Repeat this process if you're using this feature for reconciling historical data from Amazon into QuickBooks Online. Thank you for watching.